COVID started in the end of 2019, and since then, there have been cures to its respiratory sickness. COVID is a sickness that affects the organs, heart, and brain. It caused a worldwide pandemic that shut the country down. Today, Ms. Chapman will be interviewing Mr. Griner on how COVID affected not only his workplace, but his day-to-day life at home with his family. Uh, Newton South High School, I teach 9th and 11th grade. I also have two little kids, and that'll probably show up in this interview. All right. Okay, great. Um, so could you please tell me um, how you participated in and or experienced the COVID lockdown of 2020? Oof. So in March of 2020, I was um, working here, obviously, and I had two small children. One at that point would have been they were almost three years old, and another was almost seven years old. So on day one were... of the COVID lockdown was a Friday, Boston Public School stayed open. And it seemed, and Newton uh, it seemed like it was gonna close down for two weeks. And so at that point it was like, oh great, maybe one of my kids will still be in school and it'll be kind of like a little bit of a vacation. And then pretty quickly Boston shut down and pretty quickly everything shut down. We went from it being kind of like, things are a little scary, we might just all take a break, to you can't leave your house very, very quickly. Uh, and yet we still kind of needed to do our jobs after you know a week or two of having snow days. Uh, and But I saw these two little kids in the house. So it became really challenging managing being a kindergarten teacher, while at the same time being a ninth and 12th grade teacher, while at the same time running a daycare, mm -hmm. um, while at the same time my wife still had a full-time job as a scientist. So it was very, very, it was, it became very stressful very quickly. Um, thank you for sharing mm -hmm. that. Um, so you kind of already touch on it a little bit, but how did you feel as a teacher, as a parent, as a citizen of our country, mm -hmm. as the COVID lockdown was happening and evolving? I think the most challenging thing to remember was how little we knew and how little information and good information we had. We went saying, um, don't wear masks because then we we'll, won't have enough masks for the people who need them in the hospitals to you should wear a thin piece of cloth over your face to we made our child's pajamas into masks at one point because we didn't have anything else to make it out of. Um, and I also, and so there was just this sense of uh, a lack of knowing uh, what to do. And then, but I had these two little kids and so they needed time to be outside and we would go outside and we would be the only people you could see. You couldn't, we drive down Route 90, there'd be nobody on the highway, which is crazy crazy all right or we would go to a park and there we would think like of course other people would be getting outside too and so i think we were more lax because we didn't have grandparents we were in contact with we didn't have anyone who was immunocompromised and so we what we thought was locking down was for other people not locking down so it was just you know, the general sense of confusion about what the correct information was and also how to be a good citizen in that moment because I think a lot of other people would have looked at us, me taking my kids to the beach, me taking my kids to Deer Island to walk around the facility there, like just anything to get them out of the house. And they would have seen us as being bad citizens where I have other people in my social media feed who were wearing masks to go to the mailbox, mm -hmm. right? And so I think it was um, at the time, I think my, my chief feeling was just confusion and confusion of how other people were responding mm -hmm. and of how I should respond. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so looking back on, you know, three and a half years later mm -hmm. after the pandemic, how have your kind of thoughts and feelings about what happened during the COVID lockdown changed, evolved, or stayed the same? Mm -hmm. I definitely am not someone who thinks locking down was a bad idea. I definitely think locking down, we locked down for probably too long. We locked down in ways that were unintelligent. We locked down in ways that ended up being, I think, more harm than good, but definitely if, if God forbid some new version of COVID were to come back, I would hope that we would all wear masks. I'd hope that we'd all open the windows. I'd hope that we'd all be intelligent about it. I don't think we necessarily will. Um, but um, I think my feeling on it changing now is looking back and just feeling so silly about so many of the things I did. Like literally I wore this t-shirt that was paper thin over my face to go to the grocery store. That clearly did nothing. Or I'd hold my breath when walking past somebody. You know what I mean? Like the silliest things. And I think back and I just sort of shake my head and 
Um, but I also feel deeply lucky that um, my none of my family ever got really sick. Um, and so for me, I'm, I have the luxury of looking back with sort of, you know, head shaking, smiling silliness um, because nothing actually really bad happened to my family at that point. And in, in, in any of my extended family or my extended friend network. So I feel in, in some ways like I feel silly, but also incredibly blessed that I'm able to feel that it was silly. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, okay. <laughs> I think that's all I got. Great. All right, thank you, Ashley. All right. That's all.